Good morning, Magicals, and welcome to Monday. New chapter, new week, fresh ideas, fresh innovations. Woo! Exciting times. I'm looking forward to this week, I can't lie. Okay, guys, to get into our reading today, um, the card that came up for us this morning, the chakra, is the sacral chakra. Can everyone see that? Sacral, right? Um, this is Svadhisthana. This is our, um, for those of you who are new on board, um, these are, oh, welcome, if you're new on board, sorry, my bad, Monday morning, what can I say? Um, this is very much our creative center. Um, although we have two creative chakras, the sacral chakra and our throat chakra, this is very much um, where we gestate our, our, um, our creations before they, they birth into reality through the base chakra. This is the seat of our emotions. It's a very, very, very powerful chakra, okay? Our kryptonite here is guilt. So that's a huge one because we all carry guilt at some point in time. And it is, um, there was something else I was going to say. Oh, that's right. It carries our social conditioning. Um, so that's, that is for male and female, um, whatever gender, whatever gender, sorry, whatever social conditioning you're carrying as a result of your upbringing and your heritage, this is then carried in your sacral chakra. Okay. All right. So I drew the cards. I don't know what they are here. Let's have a look. Okay. So our first card for today, the two of swords. Okay. Now this is a very defensive card. If you can see, she's got, um, her, her two swords up, but she's blindfolded. She cannot see that what's in front of her is not actually attacking her. She is in no way um, under any kind of threat. If she just removed the blindfold by putting the swords down, she would see that she's actually under no threat, okay? So this is for those out there that are feeling a little bit defensive at the moment. You've maybe got your guard up, all right? This is very, clearly, clearly I'm hearing very clearly from Kelso here. He's like, you know, he's back in the room this morning. He's had a weekend in Mexico. Um, he's saying here that this is about boundaries, Okay, now our sacral chakra is big on boundaries. It's a huge, huge, huge um, requirement. Healthy boundaries for our chakra system is a huge, huge requirement. And I will start during the course of next week sometime. I'll do maybe one a week um, on my healing channel um, about each, each chakra to give you some kind of idea. But we have excesses and we have deficiencies in our chakras things that make them overactive and things that make them underactive and boundaries is a big big one for our chakras okay especially our sacral chakra so Kelso is basically saying listen here guys make sure that your boundaries are in place make sure that you've got good solid boundaries that you are reinforcing in a, in a healthy way you don't want to be going nuts and screaming and shouting and things like that this is not a healthy way to reinforce your boundaries okay that's just shutting everybody out because i'm telling you now no one's going to be daft enough to walk towards a woman who can't see what she's doing holding two deadly swords so this is very much about you just recalibrating and recalculating a little bit this week and going okay you know what i just need to take a deep breath check my boundaries um, what's happening at the checkpoints here? Is everybody like coming through? Are they doing what they need to do? Why am I feeling so defensive? Okay, look guys, also Mercury is in play. Um, during the course of today, I will put the Mercury retrograde um, reading out, the Astro Guide. Um, I just have some deadlines this morning to take care of. Um, once that's done, then I will be putting out the Mercury retrograde. And I'm going to be looking, uh, uh, um, at this stage, I feel that I need to actually focus on what you need to avoid for each star sign, but we'll get into that in that reading. Okay, so also just make sure you've subscribed and you get the notifications um, so that it comes out to you first. All right, so this is very much about being very defensive and putting up your, your, your walls. It's not even boundaries here. This is walls. That's just not letting anybody in. Okay, so have a look see at that today. Um, then I asked, how do we um, start healing this? How do we start um, making ourselves feel safer in a way? And this is a card that's come up, family. Okay, at first I thought, well, that's a really random card to come up. But anyway, we go with what Spirit has to say. This is about surrounding yourself with people that are your tribe. So family is, yes, it can be actual family, but it's also your tribe, okay? So when you're feeling like that, when you're feeling a bit out of sorts, when you're feeling a bit insecure and you are um, unsure of what next to do, surround yourself with your tribe, okay? They are your inner sanctum, the people that will have your back no matter what, those are the kinds of people you need to be working with at the moment, all right? So surround yourself with people that A, can give you objective, honest opinions if you're going to ask for one, and B, that will make you just feel safe, like you don't have to have your guard up, 
Okay, so that's what you need to be sorting out. Then I asked for some advice for us, just generally. <clears throat> and three... Okay, sorry. Two cards came up, my bad. Okay, um, you've got New Moon and Scorpio as the first one, all right? Work through your fears. Guys, when we get defensive, we are insecure, and insecurity comes through fear, okay? So where you at here, this is very, very, very much um, about, this has come up in a couple of readings, actually, um, trying to work out what it is that's triggering you, okay? The thing that activates your insecurity. What is your trigger? Your triggers are always there to help you heal, all right? That is your indicator of something that is unhealed, okay? So start working through your fears, all right, is the advice that they're giving. And the next one that came up here, all right, the answers you need have been coming. This is full moon in Gemini. Now, guys, we are still in Gemini season, all right? communication all right so what they're saying is if there are certain things that are making you feel um insecure or unstable or fearful at this point in time okay what they're saying is just take a deep breath the answers will come things will fall into place and you will understand better and you may not feel so insecure and you may not feel so defensive you may not feel like you're going to go absolutely nuts and have to have swords at either side of you all right so for this, just take a deep breath, let things flow as they're meant to, and see how it goes. But what they are saying is clearly, 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 make sure that at every every point in time, your boundaries are up and that your boundaries are healthy, healthy boundaries, okay? They are really, really, really important. And then I ask for the outcome for us. I really love this card. It's regeneration, okay? I love this card. Um, and it is a four and six is 10. So it's a one. So it's a new beginning here. Okay. A new cycle. This is about us allowing ourselves to grow. Okay. Now, if you think about this here, if you look at this image, there's no ways that she can move forward at all. She's stuck. I mean, you can't see, she can't see where she's going. She doesn't know what lies around her at all. There's no way of actually moving forward. This card is an indication of if you can do all of this here, right? you get to regenerate, you get to grow, you go into a new cycle. New cycles are always about growth. It's like seasons. Seasons bring different cycles to the vegetation outside. They bring cycles to us as well, okay? And this will come into a cycle of growth for you, of development, spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, whatever it is, and in whichever area you need to grow in, it's saying to you that this is what will happen. You will grow. Okay, guys, so interesting reading. Some of you are feeling very ruffled out there, and it's understandable. The energies at the moment are batshit crazy, I can't lie. Um, all of my woo-woo friends are feeling it. We're all feeling exhausted. We're all feeling, um, you know, a little bit um, ruffled. It's, it's all happening. So just also take a step back as well and try not to take stuff personally. Try and see where you can increase your boundaries. And when I say that, I don't mean build walls. I mean where you're boundaries are lacking or where you don't reinforce the boundaries that you have in place okay remember our boundaries are there because they are there to protect us okay we put up boundaries when something has happened and we've learned that that is not something that benefits us so we put in place a boundary so that we don't have to relive that situation okay it's a learning and a growing okay right guys so have an absolutely spectacular spectacular monday and i will touch base with you a bit later today that will definitely go out today i just need to get a blog post finished and, and sent off and then i will be doing the the mercury i mean the, yeah the mercury retrograde reading so mwah, big loves for your monday and i will catch you later have a good one